Hi everyone, this is Carolina here and today I want to show you how to create a bookmark folder. Um, now this is a great thing to do because it really saves you a lot of time. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I always have a hundred tabs open when it comes to um, work. And one of the reasons why I have so many open is because I don't want to lose them. Um, so one thing you can do is you can save them. <laughs> now sometimes I know you can bookmark uh, stuff, but it's nice to also have them also um, a bunch of them that you use often available. So creating a folder is a great way to do that. So if you look over here, I have a, a tab that's called school tabs um, in my uh, bookmark bar. And if I click on it, you will see these are all the links that I have saved that I use all the time. Uh, so this is, um, they all show up here. Now that what's great about it, if I right click on this, it gives me the option of opening all of them at the same time which is great. <laughs> or I can also, um, you know, choose the ones that I want to open. Um, you could do that. If I have this down, I can right click and it says open in a new tab. So um, I could just open that specific one and it will come up here in my new tab. Um, now I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have your bookmark bar open. If you don't see this bar, you want to go over here to the right to the three dots. You're going to click on it. You're going to go to bookmark and it should be checked off as show bookmark bar. If it's not, this is what it's going to look like. So you won't see that option there. Um, so just make sure you check that. So you go to bookmark and the three dots and then you click show bookmark bar. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your cursor here and you're going to right click and you're going to go to add a folder. Now this is going to pop up and you can write the name of your tab. So let's just say it's good okay, example for now and press save. Now this is where you're going to be adding uh, any of the tabs that you want to save. Now the way to do that is let's say I wanted to um, add this. This is the link to my drive. Always very useful, guys. Can't even tell you. Um, so I'm going to write, let me just show you how to do that. So I'm going to right click on that and it says add page. Now you could do this. There's two ways you could do it like this. I can save it there. So now if I hover over, you'll see my drive is there. Or if you have, say, I want to add my YouTube channel, I'm going to click like highlight with the link here. And then I'm going to hold down and I'm going to drag it into there. So it's a little bit more simpler way to do so. So if I click on it now, you'll see there's two different links there. So again, the way you do that is if I'm here and I want this, I highlight it, I'll click on it. And then I'm going to drag it into the tab there. Now I can even like add um, one of my slideshows that I use like daily for my kids. I can also save that. So you could just drag that link in there and that'll show up. You'll see it there. See, I have those, um, the ones that I use for my two classes are saved there because I use the same one daily. So this is really, really great guys. And now let's say I want those two open at the same time. I'm gonna right click on well, there's four now. <laughs> I'm going to press open all four. So you can open all four or open all, in new windows or open them um, all four in an incognito window. So there's those options. So if I do that, they all pop up. So that's what I do in the morning. I literally go here and I open all my tabs that I usually do. And that way I am not scared to restarting my computer or <laughs> um, doing, doing, you know, closing uh, my tabs or just exiting um, the window here. So like I said, this is really, really great. And just so you guys know, also, there's another way to manage these tabs uh, for you to um, just go through them and organize them. And that is if you go here on the three dots on the right, you're going to see where it says bookmarks, bookmark manager. So you actually will see these tabs here as well. Um, and you can, you know, click on this and you'll see actually the things you saved. You can delete each one if you don't want these. Um, and uh, you can also, if you go back here on the top, where you see the actual tabs you created, you can just delete these. So like I can delete this sample one. You can actually also delete um, 
the tab itself by going right clicking and it gives you the option to delete. You can do it through there too. Um, so yeah, so these are your options there guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, I can't emphasize enough how helpful it has been for me to learn how to do this. Um, and I hope it is helpful for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it guys. I, I hope this helps. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you um, like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna watch more. Um, also make sure to check out, I added a link to my uh, Facebook group, How to Tech for Education. Feel free to join and I always post a lot of different um, activities and resources there um, that you can always check out and use in your classroom. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching.